What's going on? I'm Allison. For today's video, we're doing a cardio HIIT workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. For this workout, you don't need any equipment. We'll be working four blocks containing four moves each, 30 seconds on and a 15 second rest in between and repeating each block two times. This workout is high intensity interval training, but definitely modify the moves if you need to. We're also including a full warm up and cool down. So grab some water and let's get started. For your first warm up move, either keep a big march in place, pumping the arms, abs are tight, or give me a light jog, making sure the heels are on the ground. warm-up move, we're doing either a full jumping jack, heels are down, knees are soft, big arms, or you can do a heel jumping jack, keeping it lower impact. Exercise, we're doing a step touch with the feet going laterally side to side. An option is to add some big chest presses with the arms. warm-up exercise, we're doing a nice and light kick and punch, shaking out the ankles and the legs and adding that upper body. And for your final warm-up move, we're going to do an inchworm to warm up the hamstrings. Starting on one side of your room, go ahead and walk those hands out, knees are soft, hold the plank, engage the core, bend those knees as much as you can, come back up to start. move in block number one. Starting off, we're doing a quick skip jump rope. Now with this move, pretend that you're holding a jump rope, and then with the legs, we're doing quick heel taps, staying nice and light on the feet. Now if you'd like to take this lower impact, remove the jump, keep the arms, and just do quick heel taps.
we're doing staggered lateral hops. From here, staying light on the feet, we're going hop, hop, side to side, making it bigger for more intensity. To modify this move, remove the jump and do a big step touch a little bit slower. Block number one, we're doing squats with heel lifts. Feet are shoulder width apart, toes and knees facing forward. Sink those hips back like you're in a chair, and on the way down, lift those heels up, drop them down, come back up to stand. Down, and then lift. Block number one, we're doing high knee runs in place. Think about driving that knee up to the chest, heels are down. To modify this, do a big march instead, pump in the arms and drive those knees to the chest.
exercise in block number two. Kicking off is a set of split jumps. Now for the version of split jumps today, we're gonna do a little hop in between the sides, staying light on the feet. To modify this, hands on the hips and lightly tap the toes back, removing the hop. Number two, we're doing a lateral lunge to inner thigh lift, reaching towards that heel and turning that foot in. To modify this, shorten the range of motion for the lateral lunge and tap in instead. on the other side. Step out for the lateral lunge, come up, turn that foot in, reach for that heel. To modify, shorten that range of motion, tap in instead. Number two, we're doing a set of bell hops. Just like earlier, we're gonna do floating jump rope arms, but instead with the feet, hop side to side. Saving light in the heels, knees are soft. To modify this move, remove that big jump and do a light skip side to side instead.
Here's your first movement block number three. We're doing a lateral jump cross back. So we're gonna jump side, reach towards the ground, leg crosses behind. If you're not feeling that, remove the jump and continue that same movement with the tap back. We're taking that similar move and now doing full cross back lunges with squats in between. Staying low and really feeling it in the legs. To modify this, do a half cross back lunge, stand in between, repeat other side. Additional jumping jack, we're gonna add a jab motion to it. To modify this, remove the jumps and keep the jab with the tap. We're doing squats with knee twists. Externally rotate those shoulders and bring the knees up to the chest. To modify this move, shorten the range of motion.
you've made it to your final block, here's your first exercise. We're doing a quick alternating knee with bicep curls. To modify this, remove the skip, but keep bringing that knee up to chest and bicep curl. We're doing a reverse lunge to front kick, staying on the same side. So from here, we take a reverse lunge, boom, big front kick driving through the heel. Down and up. To modify this, shorten the range of motion and remove that kick. Lunge, front kick on the other side. Give me a big reverse lunge. Boom, front kick, driving through the heel. Down and kick. Modify by shortening the range and remove that kick. we're doing a set of surfer hops. For surfer hops, we're jumping 180 degrees. We're going side and side. To modify this, we're gonna move that hop and do diagonal squat side to side.
let's repeat that reverse lunge, front kick on the other side. Give me a big reverse lunge. Boom, front kick, driving through the heel. Down and kick. Modify by shortening the range and remove that kick. Congratulations on finishing that workout. You did amazing. That was super high intense. So now let's finish off with the cool down and stretch. Start with those feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes and knees forward. Let's lunge side to side. Option, you can add some big circle arms. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let that heart rate gradually come down. Your goal is to let that heart rate come down and how you know is that breathing is easier, speaking is easier. Good, take a few more seconds here. Inhale, exhale out. Last four, three, two, let's hang out on one side. Weight in that leg, toe up, and then sink into that base leg. Still continuing that breath, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. When you're ready, come on up, pivot turn and face your side wall in a lunge position, squaring up those shoulders and hips, press that back heel down, interlock the fingers, push that wall in front of you away, and then dip that chin and head. Stretching out through the neck. Again, elongate those arms. One more breath in and out. And on your next inhale, raise those arms up, pick up that heel, exhale, drop that knee, Tuck the pelvis under God, and stay right here. If you want a little more stretch, interlock those fingers behind, peel back those shoulders, lift the heart, and just breathe. One more breath. And then release, set the back leg in, shift it back, hamstring stretch, weights in the base leg, other toe is up. Good, try not to collapse those shoulders. Keep them pulled back. Drop that toe if you like. And then nice and easy round up. Turn and face me, give me a flat back down. Abs are tight, then round the spine to stand. Shoulder roll back, lunge and hold other side. Good. Breathing should be easier at this point. If it's not, maybe hold these stretches a little bit longer. Grab another sip of water if you need to. Drop that toe, pivot, turn, and lunge. Same thing like we did on that first side. Shoulders and hips square. Interlock the fingers, push that wall away, dip the chin. And just breathe. Good. One more breath. And then on your next inhale, raise those arms up, pick up that heel. Exhale, bring it down. Tuck that hip bone under. Option, you can interlock behind. Peel those shoulders back. Lift the heart and chest. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more time. And out. Good, release, step that back leg in. Shift back, pop up that toe. Weights in the base leg. If you like a little bit deeper stretch, drop that toe. Keep the knee soft. 
and then slowly round up. Turn and face me, flat back again. This time round up halfway. Dip one shoulder in, look over the other at your ceiling. Nice lower back stretch and twist. Whenever you're ready, center up, other side. Dip that shoulder in, look up to the ceiling. And then center up, flat back down, run all the way up one vertebrae at a time. Head and shoulders last. Three shoulder rolls back and three forward. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale down one last time. Feet together on the toes, reach. And let it out. Great job on that workout. You did amazing. My name is Allison, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job on completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.